Welcome back to episode 112 of Our Still Friends. Yes, this is a peaches and cream episode. What? What? You can't just say things, Alina. You guys, come on. Get with the references. The song Peaches and Cream is by 112. Okay. Who? Um, have you not heard of Peaches and Cream? I mean, we've heard of Peaches and Cream, the but song. we've never heard of 112. Yeah, there, I agree. Sarah. I have no idea what you're talking All right, about. I know what I'm playing in the bonus. Okay. Oh, shoot. One sec. We have to restart. Oh, God. Oh, God. No, actually, we can keep going. What? what? You just jiggled the whole camera. Yeah, everyone's with been jiggle jangled now. But keep jiggle jangling while I'm gone. Okay. Is this what I think? Because I was going to... We have to restart. I was going to motion for that. Welcome back <laughs> to Are We Still Friends episode 112. You think I'm just like so new to this that I don't know how to call out when it's someone's birthday? I don't know. I thought that you wanted a motion. We have, that... We're birthday twins. Okay. Well, we celebrated Alex's birthday over the weekend. Privately? Yeah. Well, should we publicly wish him a happy birthday? Okay, you guys can blow out the candles together. Oh my God, there's candles involved? I can't believe we're eating in bed. Well, you're not going to eat in bed. You're, you're not allowed. You're kidding me. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Yeah, because we're so good. <laughs> so good. Holy Happy shit. Oh my God. Watching Alex try to maneuver in here. It's like a minefield. Oh my God. Look at wow. these. Happy birthday, dear Sarah. Wow. Happy birthday to you. You want to share your candle with Alex? <laughs> I guess not. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch. No, we did have cake and everything for Alex last yes, week. We did, we did. Oh my god, fuck yeah, icing. That really brings me over the top. Well, in case you didn't know, it's uh, Sarah's birthday in a couple days. Two days to be exact, baby. Um, you deserve some birthday treats. Thank you. That is a slice of cake. That is a good slice. I appreciate that cake. Thank you, guys. Thanks yes. for celebrating. I feel special. I feel loved. Alex told me to stop singing before the episode started, and then Alex's voice just ruined the whole episode. Wait, what? Disagree. Okay. Disagree. Was I well, here for that? <laughs> I was singing to call you in, basically. I was trying to get you in here with my singing voice. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, you were playing, you know, Forbidden Name. Yeah. Forbidden Forbidden. Yeah. Something I won't ever mention again, because every day there are still comments about how I'm a horrible person. Well, well, at least everyone could see. <laughs> <laughs> Happy Just birthday, kidding. Sarah. <laughs> Such a great friend. That's I what they you. say about Geminis, right? They great do. friends. No. Ooh, damn, you're coming to my core. You know, they don't say that, but they should. They should, because we are great friends. Okay, so we'll Wikipedia Gemini, and we'll add in what we think Thank needs God. to be added in. Thank God. Okay, welcome back, you guys. 112, it's our birthday episodes. Peaches and cream. Yeah. And um, let's dance, baby. We have a dance. lot to talk about. Uh, in case you didn't know, we kind of have something serious to discuss, which is um, Alex went in for a pretty serious surgery. And um, with a straight face. No, I mean, surgeries are not a laughing matter. They're not, Sarah. I don't know why you're laughing about this. Exactly. And um, he went in and he, um, it's kind of personal what the surgery was, but let's just say he can. Um, he can now sit down. He's recovered. So, um, yeah, I mean, wish you the best on Thank on you. your new on your new BBL. Thank you. I mean, I can clap with no hands now. It's great. We oh said that's what God. we wanted to do. We can't just like jump in here and get surgery and then like take our thing. You know what I mean? We said we were going to get BBLs. No, <laughs> we, I said it like it was my sexual dream to have like an ass clap. You know, last week. Do you remember what I said? No, I don't. Like, I thought we were really that. close. You said that? Yes. In oh. the bonus. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, I'm glad someone in the room can do it. I know. So, yes. Alex has recovered from his BBL surgery, and he can finally sit down. <laughs> and he's here. He's here with us. He's sitting really close. <laughs> um, Shall we close the door? Yeah, I'm trying to. <laughs> I know. I can see him awkwardly, like, move about trying to get it, but... Oh, no, no, you no. You guys, no. like, 
Like this is, this this room is there's too much ass. So small. <laughs> I hope people it's, are watching this episode to see Alex's face front cam. Oh, oh. My God. My God. <laughs> <laughs> so far, so good, you guys. So far, so good. Let's get in the fucking app because we have <laughs> well, so I much know, to discuss. This this he. he He's discombobulated to hell. We're good. We're back in. First <laughs> first topic. <sighs> Billie Eilish. Billie Eyelashes. We're going to start with saying, I think Billie is such a fabulous name, you guys. And one thing I want to discuss is, Alina, what are your girl names? Oh, my God. <laughs> I told you I can't give them away because... Alex is going to have a child before me. This is like why and we're in a fight right now, you guys. Because I thought Alina and I were the same person in regards to like, tell me your baby names. I know, but if Al, I can't tell, I can't, I can't tell you them before I have a said child. No, you know? like he is going to have a kid before me, and he's probably going to take the name. No, but you. So I can't, I can't be, can't be saying them out loud, and you know he's going to have a girl. I know, but you backed me, babe. And now, like, now that we're sitting here talking about Billy being a good name and you don't like the name, and now you won't tell me the names that you do like, after our conversation of literally trashing every person that does this... Well, I can't give them away preemptively. If I have a name in mind for a child that I have, then yes, that's what the discussion was about. But you can't be over here just decreeing out your names no i think like the point of this conversation is to let everyone know that we're fighting but we can move on and talk about billy irish's irishes <laughs> billy eilish's new album yeah which i listened to all the way through because it's feasible <laughs> <laughs> and um, you're welcome why is it feasible because it's 11 songs like a normal fucking album should be 10 songs it's 11 because there's an interlude at the end. Just so you know, there's an interlude. Yeah. There's a motherfucking Don't interlude. question the girl who he, counts songs, okay? I count songs, I count tracks, and if you put an interlude, I'm going to listen, and I'm going to be pissed about it. Yeah. So, you listened. I listened. I listened to tidbits, to tidbits. Um, I just wanted to hear the song where she talks about eating box. <laughs> yeah, well, did you read the interview where she talks about eating box? Yeah. I was oh, like, whoa, 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 whoa. But also, like... You know, you like when people sing about their life and that's her life. Now. Oh my God, no. Eating box. I'm obsessed with the fact that it's her and her brother on every song. Trust me. I got to the end of every song and I was like, Billy Eilish and Phineas, Billy Eilish. Fin like, hell yes. Okay, I know what's going on. I know what's happening in her life. Yeah. Although I don't exactly have reference to whose box she's eating, which. That's what we want to know. That's that's exactly whose what Whose box know. could she eat for lunch? <sighs> who's Claire? I need to know. Um, and it's going to make the album that much more fun for me once I get to the bottom of the clues that she's yes. putting out there. Yes, yes, yes. So I'm going to do a personal investigation and find out who this girl is. Man, if someone hired you to be their PI, yeah. it'd go horribly. You'd come back with like a case of evidence of like things that you were certain of and it'd be completely wrong. Wow. Are you serious? <laughs> yes. I am an insane investigator. No, I will literally just follow someone around all day just out of like morbid curiosity. Yeah, but you believe in rumors, which is like exactly you'll find a tidbit inf information and you won't try to prove it. I'll you'll just, just run with it. Truth. Yeah, for sure. So the case would be like really mismanaged. But that would that would be true unless I was following him on foot, because if I'm following this motherfucker on foot, I'm going to find out the truth. Because I will not stop. The fact that you even went to following on foot when That's it's clearly a job for the internet. No, I will not go to the internet because that's, that's not why you'd be a horrible PI. Oh, you think PIs are just like all over the internet? I thought that that was where they follow on foot. They get a long day. camera. You got a paparazzi style camera. No, no, that's old school. Okay, well, if you're looking for a PI that's going to do old school investigation, on foot investigation, peep over the lawn investigation. I'm your girl. Okay. If you're looking for someone that knows how to Google and hack and hack or even get on Bluetooth, you guys, I am not your girl. That's me, though. It's we me. We should be a double team investigation. You can do the online work. I'm going to be out there in the real world. I'm going to be like yeah. pulling shit out of the trash can. I'm going to yeah. be dumping through stuff left and right. What would our investigative team name be? Out with the old and with the new. Where you look at new shit, and I'm out there looking at the old shit. I have the name. Okay. Gem Scorp. <laughs> <laughs> the obsession 
that you have right now with science is astronomical. <laughs> you have never been this into science. Like, yeah, you've been loving yourself as a Scorpio, but I I got really excited because we got like another review on podcast, and I was like, "Oh, sweet, someone left a review. That's oh God, so what cute." It say? What did it say? Was it, is it, it Alex? You. Did Alex write it? <laughs> no, but then I was like, damn. Okay. I was like, I really shouldn't be out here talking about signs so much when I don't know that much. Yes, I agree with the audience. Alex, can I? Am I loud? I can't well, even hear myself. I do. N- You're fucking loud. <laughs> yeah. You're loud. Um, Read it. I, I mean, my research is coming from the internet. It's so coming it's not- from like memes that pop up on your Instagram. <laughs> Yeah, that's where you get your Zodiac information. It's a three-star review, and it says, Ooh. Pisces and Virgos do not mix. This Wait. dynamic almost got me killed. And I was like, oh, my God. I offended someone because I read that Pisces and Virgos make a really good match. I and know. then I repeated it. I twice. And now I'm pissing people off because apparently they think they don't, they don't mix. Yeah, you can't just use one couple as your grouping for all no, couples. No, no, no. I know... <laughs> <laughs> That is not what Astro Talk says. Astro Talk agrees with you. That's what I'm saying. Yep. I've done enough research. Yes, I have a couple in mind. They get help me place the stars, if you will. <laughs> but wait, is, are astrology signs in the stars? Actually not. That's astronomy. Can you just have let me had it? Sorry, sorry. Like, you you were looking at the stars and then what happened? She ruined it. <laughs> she ruined it. Um no, I have a couple in mind. So like, I'm like, okay, there are Pisces and Virgos. They are a great match. And then I read that they are a great match from many different forums. And this person disagrees. I'm out here catching Taylor strays from my astrology Wait, opinions. Number one, what's a Taylor Stray? Number two, can you imagine how fucking bad this relationship was if they went to our, <laughs> <No>. our <laughs> podcast and it was like, FYI, anyone that listened to this last episode, do not date a Virgo if you're Pisces. That must have been a fucking the worst relationship. I know. I know. I always think about that. Like, how bad must something be to, like, I leave a comment? Like, it's got to be Don't leave a bad. review. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Comments, yeah, yeah. those are easy. Enter. A review? I know. You're going to the motherfucking page. You're going to iTunes. A Taylor Stray is what I classify as you give your opinion on something and an army comes for you well that's your opinion uh, honestly amazing let's get an army let's just say we're gonna say random shit let bring the army that's amazing no 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 i got a lot of taylor hate for saying what i felt about taylor no i and i'm that so taylor stray does that make sense no like you know when a punch like it's like oh catching strays that's what i'm catching strays okay you get it i see what you're saying you guys get it yeah i I think everyone gets it I don't think you get it. I get it. You got, that was just a Taylor Stray you threw at me. That was a good one. Thank you. That was a good one. Anyways, back to Billy in the box. Okay. So Billy's uh, out here eating box, singing about eating box. She could eat it for lunch. She's she hungry. likes it. She She's wants full. it. Whose box is she eating? We won't really know, um, but we know she's eating it. And we're happy for her. We are happy for her. And I have to say, we watched a um, her music video before we came in here. And, <laughs> well, let's preface. Alex said it was like one of the best music videos of all time. Never said that. Said it was cool. I actually liked it because nothing happened. And I just got to like watch her and be like, oh, wow, this is the 90s. It like, was very the 90s. The 90s is now back. It's baby. so back. And you know, it's funny when people don't know that that's from the 90s. That's from the 90s. And they think it's like this cool new thing that they've never seen. And they're like, wow, this is like revolutionary. It's like changing the way people shoot music videos. I know. But I'm like, wow, we we started Fisheye. We we originated Fisheye. We did. Any boy band ever. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. She was basically a a solo boy Boy band in that music video. Yeah. It's a cool music video. One time it was the best of all time. Nobody said it was. We heard we heard somebody uh, say like best of all time, yeah. and I was like, "What? Yeah." So there is speculation about an actress it could possibly be about. Oh, the whole album? The, no, just the lunch. About this girl Odessa Azion. Azion? I don't know how to pronounce. I know her. You do? I know her well. I don't know her. 
friends, we are pausing our lunch discussion to talk about another kind of lunch and give you a code for one of our favorite sponsors, Little Spoon. Have you ever been so busy that you forgot to eat? Boxes, lunches, whatever? Well, as an adult, we haven't because once you're a parent, you can't just forget to feed your kid. Actually, I've heard that from a very reliable source. Little Spoon is the perfect partner for parents who want to give their kids fresh, healthy meals and snacks, and it's delivered straight to your door. Your kiddo will love to eat all the food at every eating stage they are in. So what comes next after they're done with the mushy stuff? Biteables. Everything is already cut to size for self-feeding and it is free of artificial junk. I love the idea of everything coming out pre-cut because it takes the guesswork out of it. You feel more comfortable about the food not being a choking hazard. Oh, God. Choking hazard. I know. It's scary. It's scary. It is scary. Especially when you just leave your kids in the room to eat that themselves, which we haven't talked about yet. But we'll get to it. <laughs> it's not just meals. Little Spoon has puffs and smoothies for healthy snack time. And I love to use those on our walks. It gets little way to like eat a snack and sit down and enjoy her stroller for the first time. You know, always. <laughs> I'm going to go again. You know, Ollie always sits in his stroller. I can't wait to see if Ollie and your future baby share a stroller. They won't. He hates it. He'll jump right out. Yeah. Well, in the meantime. Oh, that's me. <laughs> okay. I bet future baby feeds Ollie all of his puffs in that stroller. Um, let's hope not. <laughs> that was a great segue. <laughs> well, in the meantime, for now, while Ollie is not sitting in a stroller, I'll just enjoy your Waylon stories. Okay. Well, if you're a mom and you're listening to this, you have to check out Little Spoon or Dad. That's true. If you're either parent, <laughs> if you're a mom or a dad, check out Little Spoon. Yes. Alina, that's me. <laughs> it's a great meal partner for bears at whatever eating stage your baby is in. I feel like we've said that. We're wrapping it up. That's what we're saying. <laughs> you know, we didn't even brag about this enough, but all these great meals and snacks come right to your door. Check out the menu, change up what you order every single week, and have your little one try different foods. The price is right, just like the show. And the quality is unmatched. Sarah loves it. Ollie loves it. Way loves it. What does my dog have to do with this? He <laughs> is a little cute baby <laughs> in the stroller. And right now he's your child. Okay. And we're going to simplify your kiddos, not your dog's meal time with 30% off your first order. Go to littlespoon.com slash still friends and enter our code still friends at checkout to get 30% off. Your first Little Spoon order. That's littlespoon.com slash still friends. And enter still friends, our code at checkout and get 30% off your first order. Woohoo! You know, Jaden, Will Smith's wow. son, I think used to date her. Oh. Random fact. Wow. That could be wrong. Wow. But it could be right. Did they date? Uh, they seen the, there, was, there was a video that Billy had apparently posted that was taken down very soon after of them making out. Ooh. And then she deleted it like m minutes later. Wow. Do you think it was meant to get posted when that happened? Yeah, I, th I think when I think when people do that sometimes it's like they kind of post it and then they want to take it. They want to be like, "Ooh, like see if my like like you know what I mean? Like just like yeah, a yeah, quick yeah, yeah, rumor yeah. blah 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 like Yeah, yeah, like but you know if you know you know. Exactly. Like Ooh, we should do it if you know you know. Like post them and then take them down, but they're like really really private but honestly like <laughs> how are people so fucking quick on the internet like that when people post and delete and people get a screenshot post notifications oh and just being on your phone yeah oh oh post notifications okay uh, you can turn that on so when someone mm -hmm. posts that you can see like mm -hmm. i don't have them on for you i have them on. do you have them on for other people not have them on for anyone <laughs> okay <laughs> but, but it is true i don't have them on for you as well <laughs> okay is this because of the Taylor thing? Uh, we started on a bad foot. Well, no, you said that we were fighting at the beginning. We are fighting. You're right. Bring it back. Yeah, I can take the, it. You're the one that wanted to fight. It's my birthday. Oh my God. <laughs> you spit on me for your birthday. It was a present. I like to give back. Okay, let me ask you this. If someone spits on you, do, on, you, on do you tell them? No. Okay, so every time you spit on me, which has happened a few times this the last few recordings, I let you know. I know. Because I feel like that's what you should do but as like, a friend. But like, that's who we because are as I'm, people. <laughs> like, I look, I flinch. And then also, like, the spit is there. I feel it. So, like, I got to wipe it. And it's then a shower. Me, it's a spray. If you see me wiping, then you're wondering. So, no, like, I wasn't wondering. I knew what happened. 
Okay. But, you're just, but you're telling it to my face. But don't you're, you appreciate that about me? I do. Like, I'm not just going to catch your spit and go along with the episode. I, like, I got to let you. Like, if you even loogied on me, I'd be like, didn't happen. <laughs> no <laughs> way. Yeah. It was dripping down my cheek. I would not <laughs> even acknowledge it. I'd be like, she didn't mean to. <laughs> you wouldn't say anything? No. Okay, so right now, I just got the urge to, like, go. No, I know. In your face. <laughs> it spit all over you. I would literally wipe it and, like, carry on. But, but, but wh- what's it like to be so polite? Can I just say, <laughs> newsflash for me, I'm actually going to be working on telling the truth more. And not that I'm, like, a huge liar, but I just feel like I need to just be more truthful. Yeah. Even in, like, just behavior. Just I'm, that's going to be like my new June What's gloom, June persona. I'm going to be telling the truth, motherfuckers. Get ready. All right. I'm going to spit on you in June. <laughs> I'm going to try to say something about it. We'll see. <laughs> Do you mean like standing up for yourself truthfully or are you just lying around? No, I, <laughs> <laughs> I just mean like I feel like. I am a person that's generally like agreeable. Yeah, yeah. And like I will maybe not say something in the benefit of what I think is kindness. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But I feel that looking back, maybe I'm just not ever being honest. Uh, you just sick bastard. There you go. Practicing. Thank you. <laughs> Looking to keep the peace, kind of. Yeah, I yeah. feel like I've like very much like, or like I just won't say anything. Like, I, and and the not saying anything mm-hmm. is also an untruth. And so I just feel like I'm gonna be stepping into myself more, and I'm gonna be more honest. Yeah, that's my next year. Of my there's life. a balance. Well, we'll see. We'll see if I can even get like one fourth of the way there. Well, so I'm I'm definitely more honest. Honest, mm-hmm. but I have a line. Do you? Yeah, you told me I did last week. Oh. (laughs) I would give anything for the AC to turn on in this room. (laughs) (laughs) I'm about to take off my fucking shirt. I got a sports bra on underneath and like I'm about to go nude. Okay, so last week we were you were talking about we were talking about people in, in friendships where they're just like people can be me no 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 no. i see yeah 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 Yeah. and i was like well isn't that me and you were like no no, no, you have more tact you do you do you do have more tact okay so like i just had to like kind of like no yeah good reminder spoon feed you good reminder compliment yes 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 yes. it doesn't feel good yeah oh thank god alina's turning in the ac okay so let me let's uh carry on we're gonna move on to j-lo and ben because i couldn't get off them this weekend because of the rumors of them getting divorced and is it because of the biopic is it because of the documentary is the, the bi- movie the what's... biopic biopic is it pronounced biopic I thought it was biopic it's biopic i've never heard anyone say that word in my life what is it alex i go with biopic <laughs> oh my god you guys are just saying two two <laughs> Two Instagram words. Oh, yeah, bom, kinda. Bom. But biopic. What's feels biopic? Weird. That means like you're doing a biopsy. Yeah. Yeah. Why would we be doing a biopsy? It's biopic. Yeah. It's a biopic. No, 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 no. You guys are just taking two Instagram words and mixing them together. What's the Instagram words? I don't. Is bio. Insta- okay. Lincoln bio okay. and pic. <laughs> Lincoln bio. Picture. Anyway, yes, they. Are, there are rumors of separation. They are living in different homes. Oh my god! I think that he we like, do this. Yes, yes, did we do this. We did this, and I think it's because he's like, oh, you know, I was living in bliss. Was he? Have you seen Ben Affleck? <laughs> <laughs> he <No>. looks disturbed. <laughs> he was like, like you know, J Lo was his dirty little secret. You know, it was his little secret thing that he had going on, and. Then the world got exposed to what he was actually dealing with. Like and he was like, saw the biopic. Yeah. <laughs> and he was like, I can't like people know now what I'm in. People know Penn Affleck exists. Exactly. So now I have to get out because my secret has been uncovered. Could you even fucking imagine if they get divorced? 
Yes, they've been separated before. It'd just be a repeat. <sighs> I'm not ready for this relationship to end. They need more time. Why? They what? cannot. You don't, like, you don't even like them. They have gone through too much. We have. Yeah, you can't. You can't do the love story that's never, never been, been told, told and then and have that, it end. No, it, it, it literally it was just told and now it's ending. It was just told. Well, yeah. that's what I mean. Some things, some things are precursor. Like J Lo has worked so hard to get here. She is a lover of love. Just because. But sometimes you need, you know, tragedy to inspire art. Maybe she'll do the love story that ended. Honestly, like at first I thought it's her husband's, but maybe it's her. She's the problem. It's her. It's her. <sighs> I don't want J-Lo to be the problem. What? I want Ben what? to be the What problem. is all this sympathy for J-Lo? She's out here trying to get married, trying to love love. She's just wanting things to go right. She's putting her heart on the line. Did you see her at the Met Gala responding? No. Oh, she what was happened? so mean. Oh. She's walking up the stairs and someone's like, hey, what are you wearing? And she's like, a dress. Scaparelli. And then she just like looks down and keeps walking. And it, it was it was like meanness in five seconds. It oh, was like, shit. don't talk to me. And it was like, yeah, that's the J-Lo that no one likes. Well, do you think she couldn't breathe because of like some type of corset? No, 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 no. Oh, that okay. She wasn't Kim. <sighs> yeah. Speaking of Kim. Yeah. What did she do to the hip waist ratio? Oh, my word. Oh, baby insane. Jesus. And the little raggedy uh, yeah. cardigan. I know. I don't know. She needs to get a little fuzz machine to take off all the fuzz. I know. What was that about? Anyways. If Speaking she, uh, of dirty little secret. Oh. I watched the Ashley Madison documentary. Oh my God. Is this new? It's new-ish. Uh, what do you mean new? Mouth drop. Um, I think it's new. I don't know. It was trending on Netflix. So I was like. You're kidding. Like, it was trending on Netflix? I mean, that doesn't really say much. Really? I thought Netflix was like a huge company. If it's trending there, it's <laughs> trending everywhere. They probably manipulate that. You think? Mm -hmm. So they put out what's top 10 to make us watch what's top 10? Yes. For sure. Are you kidding me? For are sure. Are they bamboozling us like this? They are. But let's get into the... I've heard of Ashley Madison. Okay? Oh, who but hasn't? I didn't know what it was. You're kidding me. No. Wait, 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 wait. wait. <laughs> no, wait, wait, I, wait. I played the first few minutes and I heard of what it was. I literally went... <gasps> How did you never? Hear? Ashley Madison was like Playboy. It's like I you hear know it the going concept up in the 2000s. of what it was. Do you know what it is, Alex? Yeah, He's it's like it's like the cheating website, right? Yes, it's, it's, if you're it's looking a, to have an affair, yeah. you're going to Ashley Madison. I, I I I didn't know. I heard of Ashley Madison, but I didn't know what it was. Oh so God. when I hit play, and they were like, "Oh yeah, we discovered that most um, dating websites at the time." A lot of the people that were on them were married. Are you kidding me? Yeah, so that's what started the idea to create Wait, a website for married All the men married were married people. or all the women were married? I'm sure it was probably men. Bastards. Because fucking oh, men. Alex. <laughs> 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 he wasn't even born. <laughs> Taylor Stray. <laughs> Taylor Stray. <laughs> and um, so I, I went, <gasps> like a website for married people yeah. to cheat on each other? Yep. The slogan? What Fucking was the slogan? Genius what was marketing. Slogan? Genius marketing. It even got me. What? What? You... Life is short. Have an affair. Damn. I was like, yeah, life is, life is short. short. I should cheat. I should cheat. You know what is on my to-do list now? <laughs> cheat. Because like, it's it's playing on my heartstrings. Like, I'm always like, oh, life is short. Like, yeah, life, you're a right. Death doomer, you know? Uh, you like, are a death doomer. They're telling me I should cheat and you're literal and it literally says yeah life is short cheat. have an affair <sighs> but you're also tired yeah you can't tired. be participating in that <laughs> you're way too tired to be doing that and <laughs> <laughs> and then the marketing was like two people like hooking up and it'd be like these this couple is married and it'd be <gasps> like oh like sweet like they're hooking up and they'd be like but not to each other <gasps> oh life is short have an affair Oh my god! But the okay, you guys. Did they have billboards? Because that would have been yes! a good billboard. They had billboards. They had billboards. Their first iteration of their marketing was um, when I'm not going to say this wrong. When monogamy turns into monoton monotony. <laughs> monotony. Monoton monotony. 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 You, you do the first part. I'll do the second part. Monot. When monogamy turns into monotony. You just did the whole part. <laughs> You weren't getting there quick enough. I had to do the whole sentence. Apparently, people thought it was wood. What? Like mahogany. Oh, my So no one God. knew that it was a dating website. 
it didn't work for them. So then they pivoted. They had 37 million <gasps> users at one point. That's like, you know, a fraction of the amount of people on earth. Wait. <laughs> what? Is there like a... Okay. You can say that about any number. I know. I was well, hoping I'd come up with the fraction. But I can't, I can't do 37 to 8 billion. I, I'm Are curious. you impressed? I know that there's 8 billion people on earth. I thought there was seven. When did we move to eight? Babies? Yeah. Classic babies. Always bringing that number up. Yeah. Um, What? Okay. So you watch this documentary. Basically, uh, yeah. what you're finding out is everyone cheats and that you potentially should be cheating. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was just like, damn, that was a really good slogan. Did it tell us what? Because it says 37 million people are on the website. Oh, it, what percentage it's a three of people documentary cheat? documentary and it's absolutely insane oh, like three the, part the amount of times my mouth went <gasps> in the in the three-parter was insane it's so good i don't want to give too much away give it away i want my jaw to be on the floor okay well all right i'm gonna give it away yeah basically in a nutshell they came up with this they made it so that men had to pay per message instead of like um all other dating sites were what like if they wanted to write hey 50 cents yeah Damn. I'm All, too cheap to cheat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then, so they made it so that everyone had to... Um, all the men had to pay per message instead of monthly like all the other dating sites. Women could get on for free. Classic. Just like the clubs. Yeah. And then um, they even like... They were so smart in their... They had like a billing customer service department. Oh, shit. What and did they put it under? would call them <gasps> and be like, what's this charge? And they'd be like... They they basically knew they were like we weren't in the business of breaking up marriages we were oh. just in the business of letting them you sex know capades. sex sex it up <clears throat> and then the wives would call and they'd be like you're not um on the credit card I can't give you the information and then they'd call with the husbands and they'd be like they had this like thing that they'd tell them like oh we're a conglomerate internet um like provider for a bunch of different things so we can't really pinpoint what the charge is for but we'll go ahead and refund you and then they'd refund them and then the husbands would call back and be like thank you so much here's a new credit card fuck it was like really really smart but messed up and then they went worldwide they like did stuff in india like your parents arranged your marriage but <gasps> let us like help you have an affair or whatever it was. And they had billboards and like the numbers were going up. And then they were about to go public. They're about to have their IPO in 30 days and they got hacked and the hackers were not interested in money. They were just like, they thought what the whole company stood for was effed up. Right. So they were like, shut down the whole company or, we leak everyone's information. Oh, shit. And bitch. they had these little like... That would be our PI. That would be us. We find out that shit. We're the hackers? We're the hackers. You could do that. Yeah, with my ones and zeros. So then at the bottom, there's like three things. It's like 100% discreet, like security reports. <gasps> they were like made up like logos that a graphic designer made and like stuck on the website. Like they were not taking security seriously. They knew security was a thing. Oh my God. But they were just like, nothing's going to happen. But the hackers got literally it. got everyone's credit card information, the chat history, what they were into, their photos, their usernames. Oh, my God. And all the men were using like their real names. Can't believe I'm out here pretending I'm worried for these fuckers. I know. I know. I'm like, oh, shit. Oh, shit. It's about to drop. <laughs> drop yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. So they dropped it. So they said, shut down the operation. They were like, they're not going to do it. They did. They released it. You could literally go online. There was like senators. <gasps> like It's always a senator. It's always senator. It's always a senator. Um, Congressman? Always. People in the church. Like you could look up anyone's name and it'd show up. There was this, they follow this like, um, this like family vlogger. And the dude was on there. Really Christian guy. Super like family, family channel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was on there. And he, his wife didn't know. And then it came out and people knew who he was. So they were like tweeting and he was freaking out. Then he made a video being like, I signed up for the site, but I never used anything. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I never met up with anybody. And then... Released the tapes. And then they did a second dump with like five more terabytes of information. Jesus Christ. And it had like all the messages and everything. 
And then at, at, but you could go look it up. So his family was like, you need to be honest to her. Mm-hmm. Tell her everything. Mm-hmm. And he told her everything. It was just like, and the, the CEO's name was Noel. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. And you know what? Even in the in there, people would call him Noel and Noel. And I was like, wow, Noel's not the Classic. only one. <laughs> I saw a tweet about somebody who had who was like in the process when the list dropped. Yeah. And they like they're they were at work and they were looking at it and they go, Oh my god, like Melanie, like, is this your cousin with their last like they have the same last name? It was her husband. <gasps> So she found out like on the spot, like at work in front of her coworkers that her husband was signed up for Ashley Madison. Just fucking like It was brutal. a fucking time. They made a like a Ryan's Roses segment out of it in Australia where you'd call in and be like, I would like to know if my husband's on it. Oh and shit. And they're like, yes, we have his information. Oh my and God. And he was on it. Oh my God. It was like insanity. And then it came out. So the, the CEO, Noel, was like, uh, I don't cheat on my wife. Like I love my wife just because I, you know, run this company doesn't mean I'm blah, 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 blah. His emails got leaked. And in his emails, he was trying to get 18 to 19 year old girls. Jesus to hook Christ. Up it's kind of funny. He wasn't even using his own website. <laughs> he was using emails and stuff. It was insanity you guys have to watch it i can't believe i was alive for that and i didn't know about it happening that was 2015 i do remember shit like that going down but i i wasn't standing by you know and i do remember ashley madison but we didn't have husbands then no thank god you know so it wasn't even on my radar oh it was definitely on my radar i've heard of ashley madison like i feel like i've talked about ashley madison like it was crazy but i don't i and i do remember something happening with them but not to this like level insanity watch the documentary Everyone watch the documentary. On my list of things to do. Okay. Do you know I am watching a show right now? No, no, no. I need you to tell me about one, two, three, four. What? Tell me about what, what's going on with number four. Okay. No, Alina, I'm going to say can. Okay? There's that, some, that's not what you said earlier. I know. I said canes because come on. It looks <laughs> like canes, man. You said Bella Hadid's at canes. I did say that and she is at can. Um... It's you ruined can, it. You ruined it's it. It's Cannes Film Festival, you guys. Um, Cannes, obvi- they're trying to trick us with this fucking wording and the letters, how they put it together. Just like Duquesne. They're trying to trick us with <laughs> Duquesne. letters. Yes. It's yeah. Something yeah, like yeah, yeah. Duquesne. Okay, Duquesne. Oh, that's how you say it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so confidently. Duquesne? No. Yeah, it's Duquesne. Duquesne. Thank you, Alex. Thank you. They're trying to trick us by being French? Yes, they're trying to trick us with the French language. I don't know how to sound things out. What are in a we doing language. having French words here in LA? That's what I'm saying. It's okay? a French film festival. Well, they should have put, you know, an abbreviation can. So I would obviously say it properly. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's like um, Jacques. I say Jacquees. Jacquees, exactly. I say Jacquees as well. Yeah, your name is, is Jacquees. Jacquees. You can say Jock. You can be Jock all you want. Yeah. But you are Jacquees. Yeah. Same with Noel. <laughs> got it with that one. Okay. Let me go back to Cam because I have a stick up my ass. What do you think makes I got a big a- titty? What do I think? <laughs> I'd say Sierra Above is a big titty. Yeah. Sierra Above. I think so. And also like, you know. Even small C. Is, is a big titty. Is a big titty. Especially bra free. And I know who you're talking about, but before we get into Belly's. <laughs> before we go into Bella Hadid, which I can't wait to discuss because she's obviously like, whoa, on the twatter. Whoa. Yeah, that was an insane look. I have such a stick up my ass about something. I stick so far up my butt. I need to talk about it. God, that would be so uncomfortable. I know. That's why I need to get this off my chest. Yeah. So it's Cannes, everyone. It's Cannes. It's the film festival. And everyone is at Cane. Okay. All these movies are being presented to the world. Okay. Once the movie's over... Apparently, people are clapping for an extended amount of time. Oh my God. I'm talking seven minutes, <laughs> nine minutes, five minutes. People are clapping that long. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? That's like clapping when the fucking plane ends. Okay? We made it. We don't need... Uh, try to clap for one minute. Try Dude, to clap I'm for one minute. I'm a terrible clapper. I'll hold a drink and I'll just be like, my clap's not going to do anything in the room. No one needs it. No one should have 
that long of a standing ovation. It's done after 30 seconds to a minute. Yeah. Well, if I if I have my phone, I can't clap right. Okay, leave your phone in the seat, okay? Imagine what? there's no seat. There's always a seat. It's a movie theater. Not, always. Oh, no, I'm just talking about regular life clapping. So you're going to give somebody a standing ovation and just in real life? Like they park correctly and you're just going to like stand Sometimes there and clap? Sometimes you have to clap when you don't have a seat. And if your phone's in your hand, you're clapping. Put it in your pocket. I don't have a pocket in a dress. Set it on the floor. I'm not putting it on the floor. Oh, yeah. You don't have that case. I try to clap loud, but I'm not a Put loud Put it under clapper. your pit. I'm not a loud clapper. Okay. So we've understood that Elena's not a loud clapper. I'll clap. Okay, but I can't, she'll clap. I can't like, I can't do what you just did. Okay. What is going on with a nine minute standing fucking ovation? Enough. Enough. We get it. You liked it. If you stand, if you stand and you clap, we get you like it. That's if you like sit and you clap. Three songs love length. Exactly. That's insane. You are standing there clapping. That is longer than the intro to the movie. Get get down. Get down. Enough. Enough. What are you supposed to do when you you I would be so bored. If you're clapping for I would me stop. for nine minutes, what I would the fuck stop. am I supposed to do? I would I would stop bathroom. after thirty seconds. Exactly, Alina. And then you'd look terrible. Oh. For thirty stopping? seconds is all I need. I need thirty seconds. That's all I need for my ego. Thirty seconds. Stand up, clap for me, sit down. Yeah. What I am agree. I doing for nine minutes? I agree. Am I waving? You saw Bella Hadid wave at can. You the wave was like insane. It. What do it, do it, do it. Yeah, the wave was a little ridiculous. But you know what wasn't ridiculous? What? Her outfit. Oh, my God. She looks so hot. I've never seen a better dress. I've never seen, like, a better looking person, like, walk. I, I was know. like, whoa. I her, know. And her you, you looked at it, like, nine times. I, it was, like, culturally jarred. Yeah. I, like, like, I was like, how did, whoa. How did her nipples fit in that little folded seam? Her nipples were so high up on her boob that I was just, like, chef's kiss. Like, chef's kiss. I know. I know her nipples were as beautiful as I know. her face. And then Alex was like, "Let me see," and I was like, "You no. have a girlfriend, <laughs> yeah. You can't see this, yeah." And because we, we were like, over. we were like, "Well, this is crazy." Our husbands could see this video. I know her husband and and Corbin's on Twitter. He, I know. So is Noel. He could see Bella. Today. Do you think I, can I go on his phone and like block? It? It's like, can I say like <laughs> hot girls and be like block? I don't think it would catch Bella. You don't think? Because you'd have to write Bella. Well, that's something any hot girl would be blocked. Like, so Bella would be blocked. Yeah. How would he talk to you then? Damn. No, oh, that That'd was cute. That'd be good. I got permission from home to look at the boobs, by the way. You didn't ask before. It was after the fact. <laughs> I saw the permission after. Yeah. yeah. We were just like in awe. Her boobs were big. Her boobs They're were big. They're not. Okay, okay. Those are you don't good get what it's boobs. like to have boobs out of bra and boobs in bra. It's yeah. two separate worlds. I've, Alex. I've, seen, do, more, I've seen more boobs than you've seen your own boobs. I, I've looked what? at boobs. He thinks he's seen more spent, titties than we have I've when spent, we did our life. Yeah. I've spent more time looking at boobs than you've spent time looking at your own boobs. That's saying a lot. Yeah, well, we don't stare at our own boobs. Exactly. So he's got a point there. Exactly. But don't you think we've seen more boobs than he's seen? Yeah. For sure. He's what, 22? No. 26. <laughs> he thinks he's, well, he did type in boobs to the internet that one time. Yeah, he did. He did. <laughs> so he did. Anyway, those are just good size. They're good. And, and in a bra, what I think her boobs will be, C. And if you have C boobs, I consider those big boobs. Those are big boobs. Those C bra, big boobs. Yeah. Again. B, medium sized boobs. A, Bitty boobs. Are you sure they're C? I think so. I think they're C. I think they're sure. C. For I think sure. they're C. I'll, I'll uh, have somebody call her up. I'll do some investigation work. I'll go into her apartment, look at her bra, because I'm on the ground. Or you could just go to Victoria's Secret and be, and find a picture of her and then be like, what size is the model wearing? Oh, that's a good idea. Bella Hadid wears a bra size of 32B. Why do we know that? Medium boobs, like oh, I said. Okay. Like I said. Wow. Okay, so then they're nice boobs, but they're not they're not knockers by any. I wasn't any saying they were knockers. What is a knocker? Oh, That's a D. A D is a knock. You have knockers. <laughs> but what does that mean? Like you, you could, could knock, knock on a door. You could knock them against each other, and they go dong 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 dong. No, no, that's not what knockers. Knocker means you could knock on a door. No, you are you kidding me? There's no <laughs> motion that you could do to get your titty to hit a door. You, have to, you just walk up to it and it hits the door. Boom, boom, boom. There's yeah. no okay, let's try after this. Knocker comes from like look at those knockers. 
yeah, that's where it comes but, from. But why? Like, it's it's either like you can like knock a, someone out or you can knock on a door. I think you can knock someone out with those titties. That's what I think it comes from. Not knock on a door. Like, okay. if you tried, if you were in a boob competition, like a boob fight on fight, I think you could use your boobs to physically injure somebody. I think you'd ha- they'd have to be like longer. Longer nipples? No, like... They'd have to like be like an arm, you know? No one has arm style titties. They'd have to like be able to like, 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 you know? But your tits can no, do No, mine that. are compact. We'll see about that. Like have you'd a have to fight. be able to be like, you know? I think you could They'd throw have to them hang around. off. They kind of have to be a little like longer to knock someone out. Has anyone ever been knocked out by tits? By how hot they are? I've tried. Like you, <laughs> like like if you've fallen on the ground, like I feel like people have been blinded by love, like so they've been that's knocked not, that's on not, their ass. That's not, no. Has anyone ever been knocked out by a tit? I hope not, because titties are nice and soft. If anything is hitting you that hard, that's a pro- That's a muscle. That'd be that'd be insane. I'll bet you there's a Guinness. There's a Guinness. Oh, for o- sure. And I bet I, I bet there's tits that goes down to your toes. I bet. Tits to toes. Toe titties? Yeah. Huh. If you have like eight kids, your titties are at your toes. <laughs> That's your what happens? They go down? Oh, yeah. Have, have yours? Yeah, Alina. They have. They've fallen? They've definitely fallen. The fall of Sarah's tits. tits. Probably about like an inch or two. They have. Yeah. And did they, they definitely were higher. Because like, where do you think gravity Someone's been sucking on them. They're going down. That's not what it is. I think so. No, because they suck at them at eye length. No, they don't. Eye level. <laughs> they go down here. Oh, they point down? Yeah, they point down. But all the time? All the time. <sighs> anyway. <Well. laughs> so, okay, before we go, are we going? Are we gone? Because there was like a huge debate that I wanted to talk to you about. Yeah, let's talk about it. Okay. Tesla trucks. Okay. Do you think that they're liked? Do you think that they are hated? Do you think as a society, this is a society question. Okay. I'm bringing back society. Do we love them? Do we hate them? I think that Teslas are like, like kind of like the admission of like the end of your youth. Like they're the modern day Toyota Sienna, you know, like, burn bitch so what you're saying is like tesla trucks are lame as fuck and yeah and tesla trucks in the same vein they're just like i roll like do you think that it. people think they're cool though yes like you think tesla like, owners think they're cool like they're, they're driving they're, around in their tesla cool. truck yeah it's an eye roll for me it, oh wow even the youth yeah i think they look stupid as shit they look dumb and they're dangerous yeah they're dangerous yeah the front the frunk the front trunk can like cut your finger off and I so can't get over the, the, the keynote that they had where they threw the tennis ball and it broke it. It was like, I'm never buying your product. If you're going to get on a stage and be like, it works. Oh, shit. The window broke. Oh, I didn't even see that keynote. Yeah. But that is embarrassing. Embarrassing. No, I just, it's ooh, it's the ugliest thing I've ever fucking seen. It's it is. The ugliest thing I've ever and fucking seen. And does it only come in silver? Like imagine like chrome, like almost. There's like imagine a, only having one color. It looks so stupid. So stupid. And you could see the people driving in them, and they look so stupid. I think it's all men. No, it, no I women never drive. Saw a woman drive no, no, no one would be like, yeah, that's the car for me. I know. I just, I every time I see one, I look at who's in it, and I'm like, it looks like the duck. kind of car that your kids play with, like a toy truck. Yeah, it doesn't <laughs> look like a fucking truck with a truck bed. Sorry, I get I get really juiced up about this stupid fucking car. It's terribly inefficient, like as an actual truck as well. Like they do like they do like off road tests compared to other pickup trucks, and it's just like it doesn't hold a candle to like a typical standard pickup truck. Well, we in a different car. We knew it was stupid. It was stupid. Like imagine Noel coming home and he's like beep beep, and you come outside. It wouldn't be beep beep. It would be like wow wow. That would be the one. Maybe like space adjacent it is space adjacent it is space adjacent um alex were you gonna say something okay um well how does your butt feel 
it feels much juicier than previously. Yeah. And sitting on things, I can sit on them for longer now that there's more padding. Yes, yes, yes. So like horseback riding would be a lot easier for you now. I mean, oh my God. I mean, easier for me, but harder for the people behind me. Shouldn't you be giving them pleasure with your ass, not pain? I mean, no, they'd, it'd be painful how hard they'd be, is what I'm saying. Ew. I know. It's like, imagine so though, like gross. having pain when you get turned on. Is that really how it goes? Or is I th- that- yeah, no, it's, I don't it's think a lot you- of blood flow. Oh, oh, my penis is hard. Ow, 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 ow. ow you me yeah, at a certain it. point. Oh, oh, at a certain penis. point, yeah. No, that's so We don't want to hear from the men. You've never had blue balls, Sarah. It's a, oh, my it's God. A- <laughs> the magic of blue balls. Oh, my God. Oh, I got to stick this in this Please, ball. please. It hurts. Not really. It doesn't it fucking hurt. It hurts. What actually would hurt is like you're. We don't. A- we don't want to hear from okay, the man okay, okay. penis. Does, wait, wait, wait. We it just, doesn't hurt. We. I'm telling you right here, right now. It's I'm a telling you, lab. I've had it and it hurts. Uh, uh, you have. You have a yeah. penis, a hard penis. If your finger is throbbing because like you hit it with a basketball wrong, it's gonna throb and it's gonna feel uncomfortable because it need the pressure needs to be relieved, and the only way the pressure gets relieved is like when they like poke a hole in it or something. Same thing. This is Alina science, and it's a, it's a bold face laugh. <laughs> yeah, there is, is no hard penis out there. Men are not crying over their hard penises. No one's crying. No one's like, ha. Ah. Men are pretending to cry over blue balls, not over their hard penis. And that's such a classic. That's such a classic. That's a fucking line they tried to serve us. Oh, my balls are blue. Help! No, I don't want to help. <laughs> <laughs> you help yourself. <laughs> if someone came up to you and said that. Oh my balls! That's how guys shit used to come up to me all the time. <laughs> I'm not going to touch it. Mm-mm. They used to come up to you all the time. No, that? but I did actually hear a guy say like, oh, yeah, I got blue balls. And I was like, embarrassing. <laughs> That's what I thought. Interesting. I, I was overhearing because I'm fucking man on the ground. I'm a PI in the room and I'm going to listen to what you're talking about. Mm-hmm. And so mm-hmm. I found out that he got blue balls and I was embarrassed for him. And I told everyone. Why are you talking about balls? I don't know. I think I brought it up. Um. Okay. So. No, this is for this is for the bonus. I'm gonna save this for the bonus because we talked about it in the bonus last week. But um, since it's my birthday, I have one more thing to say. What are you supposed to do on your birthday when you're a grown up? Like, what are the rules and regulations? Rules and regulations are you do what you want to do. Okay, that doesn't help me, Alina. I'm looking for ideas. Not- okay, well, what I would do is yeah. What would you do in the morning? Breakfast needs to be served to me. So breakfast in bed. Breakfast in bed, and then you, you- hate eating food in bed. I don't eat it in the bed. It's like, here, it's ready. Come out. Okay. So or if it's on a tray, made. maybe okay. I would do that. Okay. Breakfast is made. Okay. And then in the afternoon, it's, I made sandwiches. We're going to go for a picnic. So basically somebody's making food all day for you. Well, the, you're going to eat three times in a day anyway. Oh, okay. 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 A picnic has been packed. You got sandwiches. You got fruit. You got drinks. You got chips. You go out of the park. You lay down on this picnic. Okay. You, Corbin, and way and archie and oh my god you eat the picnic foods okay okay and, and you, you bring your speaker with you and oh. you're playing taylor swift oh my god corbin's letting me listen to taylor swift in yeah. the park it is yeah. my birthday and then you go home and you take a nap okay because <laughs> you need it and then you wake up and you get fresh faced and you go to does that mean i wash my face what does that entail fresh faced it's just a saying. I don't know what face? it means. Okay. Uh. And then you, um, yeah, you go to a steakhouse. Steakhouse? Okay. You like steak. I love steak. Yeah, and then but you'll fall asleep faster. I do. And you like sleep. I love sleep. So then you go to a steakhouse. Okay. You get a little brownie sundae at the end. Oh, sounds fun. And you get some happy birthday too. Okay. And you get maybe a glass of wine. Okay. And unless you're pregnant. <laughs> and then are you? No. Okay. And then you go home. Uh-huh. And you put on an episode of The Office. Oh, nice. Yeah. And you make Corbin watch it. Your favorite episode. Okay. And then you go to sleep and you get spooned the entire time. <gasps> oh my god. Can I get spooned the entire day? Not like logistically, no. Okay. I'm so, like What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? I like this birthday idea. I like it. Okay. I'm into it. It sounds okay. like I know what I'm going to do on Wednesday. I hope you do all of those things and you report back to me. I will. I'll send you pictures of all the different foods I'm being made. Okay. And I don't think I'm going to go to dinner though. 
Because okay. it's easier to have way at home. Okay. You know what I mean? Okay. Jelly bean? Well, she'll be asleep. She'll be asleep for dinner? Yeah. Is she not getting dinner? Well, she eats probably at like five, right? No. She eats at dinner time. She eats at six? Yeah. Isn't she asleep? No. What time do you think babies go to sleep? Babies, okay. In my head, babies wake up at around five in the morning, okay? <laughs> and and they're like full of energy. Okay. And you like let them run around in the house. Babies run around? I don't know. what what they Maybe they start walking at around one. Okay. What about if your baby's under one? Well, I'm not talking about babies. Oh, oh okay, okay. I'm talking so, about... So lay. you get your kid up, you let them run around. Okay, you let them run around. You make them some scrambled eggs and you put like a little pile of blueberries in some avocados down because like they need, you know, different Fruits sources of food. Totally. You give it to them. And then they kind of like, <laughs> they kind of go like, oh, I'm tired now. Just like they oh, get the itis. Wow. Eating, right. And then you're like, all right, go sleep. <laughs> <laughs> put them in your crib. Okay. <laughs> And then night, night. you put them in the crib and like sometimes you have to hold their hand to get them to go to sleep. Uh huh. But you're like, I'm not in here. I'm going to leave. Yeah. You yeah. leave them. Yeah. You put on the sound machine. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> That's a wind tunnel in then, there. <laughs> and then uh, they sleep and then they wake up again at around <laughs> 930. Okay. <laughs> and then they're like, oh, I need milk. And you're like, okay, here's some milk. And you give them your titty? Titty or a bottle. Okay. Okay. And then they're kind of like, okay, now it's time to like learn and like okay. books and like tummy time. And wait, so she's walking, but she needs <laughs> tummy time. <laughs> yep, yep, she needs tummy time. And like she's like looking at little, like, you know, those little beads that move around and stuff. Okay, so there's like imaginary play beads. Pe- play pen, be, be. Oh, beans. Be- I see beads. what you mean. Yeah, beads. 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 Okay, and then they're like, boo. And yes, then you're like cool, they're cool, doing cool, puzzles play put play yeah and then um what are you doing like are you with her you're okay. kind of like around around yeah if she needs you you're there yeah <laughs> okay and then um and then yeah it's just like that all, all day. day and then they're like oh i'm tired and again and it's like okay get in the stroller we'll go for a walk oh yeah You'll she loves the stroller <laughs> and then she walks around and then she is like kind of like I'm tired again. And it's like, she's always tired. Yeah. Okay. Back to another nap at one o'clock. Wow. Goes to sleep. Wakes up again at three. Whoa. <laughs> plays a little bit more. With her beats. Then at five. <laughs> no, no, no. Then it's books. Okay. Then at five, she eats dinner. Then you read her a book and you're like later. And then she sleeps from about six till five, five in the morning. <laughs> I don't know what's so funny. I mean, that's just what happens. Can I tell you the funniest thing that happened? I looked at I my toes because I was scared. Yeah? You looked at your toes? Like, I was like, are my toes looking funny? Okay, so I was with Eddie. Yeah. And Anaya, my niece and nephew. Yeah? What? You, well, what? I knew their names. Oh, okay. Well, in case anyone else didn't. Yeah. And um, we were at my parents' house and Eddie's like really attached to me. It's really cute. And he was like, Alina Hala, will you please sit with me when we eat? And I was like, yeah, sure. And so he's sitting in one bar stool. I'm sitting in the middle. And then Anaya is like in a chair, yeah. in her chair, like in a ch- plastic chair? chair on a chair, a yeah. plastic chair on a chair. A chai chair. Mm-hmm. And then meanwhile, all the adults and like my sister and Noel and my other sister, like they go sit at the dining table. And I'm kind of like, dang, I want to be with them. Like, I want to have, like, conversation, know. you know? And I'm over here with the kids. Yep. And Eddie's eating and Anaya's eating. And, like, they're just like, can I have a napkin? Can I have this? Can I have that? And I'm just sitting there kicking my feet around. They're talking to my mom. So my mom's getting them everything they need. And then I say, I look at Eddie and I say, Eddie, if you're going to ask me to sit with you, you have to talk to me at least because the adults are over there talking. (laughs) Calling him out. And he was like, what do you want to talk about? And I'm like, I don't know. You got to entertain me while I sit here. Like, Wow, you're asking the kids to entertain you, not the opposite way around. Yeah. And so he he talks to me as best as he can. He's six. And he gets up. He's like, I'm full. I'm done. You know? And meanwhile, I'm like only halfway through my plate. Seriously. (laughs) So... I look at him and I go, hey, Eddie, since you're done eating and you left, can I leave now? 
can I go sit with the adults? And he goes, yeah. And he's like running around the house playing. So I grab my food. I get up. I walk to the dining table. (laughs) I'm like, guys, I asked Eddie and he said that I could leave. I'm here. Like now I can eat with the adult. I'm so excited. Are they all done? They're in in the middle of eating. (laughs) I'm so excited. I start sitting down and eating. We're talking. We're joking. It's like good family bonding time. Yeah. (laughs) My sister goes, and my mom, like at the same time, they go, who's sitting with Anaya? (gasps) (laughs) And I look and I'm like, I just asked Eddie if I could leave. Oh my God. <laughs> and they went, you, I was like, I didn't know I was You're supposed to be watching the baby. Was supposed to watch her. I thought I was just there to eat and keep Eddie company. I didn't know she needs, she, she's fine. She's sitting in a high chair. She's strapped in. Why does she need watching? Oh my God. Is she even in the same room? Does <laughs> anyone have eyes on this baby? She's like around people. Okay. But no one's like, they were like, watching. Alina, you were the adult sitting in between them it's kind of an unspoken rule that you were supposed to watch her i was like i did not have eyes on her at all the entire time i was just so concerned about eating and getting to go sit with the adults and they were like alina you were supposed to watch her i can't believe it's unspoken is it unspoken it's unspoken if you're the adult in the room you're in charge but i am the child in the room because Uh -uh. i'm the youngest Uh -uh. you are not you are the adult the child is the one actively shitting its pants. If you see somebody in a high chair, you're in charge of them. But that's why the does, rule. Why does it? Why does she need to be watched in a high chair? Like she's trapped in. She could be eating th- something that she could be choking on. But we would know. We would hear her go. <coughs> no. Sometimes it's like. <coughs> but someone would hear that. Nobody. Damn. You're in charge. I, I, I someone needed to tell me. Eddie told you. <laughs> Eddie told me I could leave. Yeah. I blame him. Yeah, yeah. He's the yeah. older brother. He knows what it entails to have a younger sister. I don't. I'm the youngest. That's true. You've never been I've in charge never before. I've never been in charge. That's true. She's never been in charge, this Alex. This does not hold up in court. It doesn't hold up in court. But to be fair, she's never been in charge. I've never been in charge. I've never had to take care of a younger he has. It's Eddie's fault. Sure. Blame the but five-year-old. But why didn't somebody notice? Uh, someone should have noticed. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta go to the phone <laughs> oh my god i'm dying uh, in the future you see a baby keep eyes on it if you don't see any other adult eyes, i was just told i was there to keep eddie company he was my priority i wasn't paying any attention to her she was chilling she was eating she was fine damn no one told me like keep an eye on her you need to step up I your game as an aunt sufficient no. since when she's You're almost even- two She's two. Yeah. Self-sufficiency comes around like 26. I think Alex is just getting there. Yeah. <laughs> I can barely feed myself. I so eat you Chipotle guys wouldn't five have done the same week. thing? No. No. If there's a pre- ba- pre-kid though. I don't even remember my life pre-kid. No. <laughs> <laughs> Alex over here, he's Googling boobs and he's still staying in the room. Yeah, but Leaving you were an a infant kid. in a room by itself? Yeah, no, 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 no. Well, she's not an infant. She's two. She's two. <laughs> not even two. She's not even two. Okay, well, you weren't the youngest. Doesn't Doesn't matter. So you know what it's like to watch over someone else. Doesn't matter. Sure, but if there's a baby in a room and I'm the only adult in the room, I'm not gonna be like, "Mm -hmm, I guess I could. Well, there was people around. Doesn't matter. It was a house full of. Yeah, but they weren't. They weren't paying attention to it though. But I didn't know. You were the last one with the baby paying attention. You were the last one with the baby. It wasn't. If if it was an empty room. For sure. I would know I can't leave her alone. No, no, but there no, were no, adults no. around everywhere. You would not have done that. If it was an empty room, you would have left because she's like, it's an empty room. What's she going to do yeah, in an that's, empty room? No, 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 no. I, I do keep an eye on her. Like when she's here and like there's no adults around, I know to like watch her. But because we were at the bar stool and there was adults in the living room right next to us, mm. like it's like connected. Mm-hmm. I was like, oh, I was she supposed be to be fine. watching her to begin with. Like everyone else is kind of. I think if you have to watch anyone, it's the two-year-old versus the six-year-old. Yeah. You yeah, keep but I, eyes on the two-year-old. Uh, yeah. Even if they're strapped down. Lord knows they can I wiggle just, and jiggle. Yeah, they, they can. can. Wiggle and jiggle. Okay. You got this next time. Yeah. Next I think time. I just need to be told, like, what do you... <laughs> <laughs> can you watch them while you eat? Like, I didn't know. Okay. Okay. You know, that okay. It's not everything is unspoken. Obviously, if it's my own kid. Yeah. Yeah, then? I know. Oh, 
but there's a part of me when I'm around my niece and my nephew where I'm also the child because I'm the youngest. <laughs> What is this defense? You can't you're, say you're you can't. thirty something. Yeah, you're thirty something. It's my defense. You could be thirty anything. I am the one that's babied in the house. Oh so like God. I am also baby. And I am baby. I am baby. And so I just didn't think like You don't recognize other babies due to you be baby. Exactly. You can ask your sister. She I, would do the same thing. My sister is like pregnant. <laughs> yeah, but I'm sure she's done some questionable things. But not because she's the youngest. Mm. Just because she's a questionable person. No, my sister's actually more like prone to babies than like me. She would way have more eyes on babies than even I would. If I'm like, if I'm told like, can you watch them? I watch them like a hawk. You know, you just have to be kids told. have sticks. And I'm like, that looks unsafe. I can't wait to see Mama Lena. She's going to be walking around here like, nobody told me <laughs> that I had... <laughs> To keep eyes on this baby. I swear. No, when someone tells me, keep eyes on my kid, I watch them like a hawk. And I'm very protective. But if it's, hey, sit down, kids, and eat, and I'm just in the middle of the kids, I am kid. I'm not thinking I'm I'm being mom or aunt. Your aunt. I'm not Your thinking. Your aunt pants are always on. I don't, I don't Your know. aunt pants are never off. If you're in the room with babies, I'll tell you one on. thing. When I'm out in public with them, when they let go of my hand, No. Okay. You have to hold my hand at all times. Okay, so you're a hand holder. I know the rules Barely. to an extent. I just Barely. had a slip up because I thought I was there merely to keep him company, not to be a supervisor. I appreciate the story. At least now you know for next time. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, we're going to get into the bonus, which is now 45 minutes. It's called Are We Still Talking? You can find it at patreon.com slash awsfpod. I need to tell you the story about how Alex farted on somebody. Oh, God. It was so bad. And uh, Why would you fart on somebody? Was, oh, 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 oh. We'll David. talk about it later. We got to go. Okay, bye. The one thing, the one thing no. before we do go, no. uh, 20, 25% of marriages include infidelity. Thank you for that, Alex. Wow. Uh, where is the statistic? Uh, so what does that statista, mean? That infidelity, somebody cheats in 25% of the marriages. I mean, like, did they... Was so that this, is, one, is that one out of four? Yeah, that is how you do math. Quick math. So you're saying if me, you, Alex, and Kate are in a room and we're all married, one of us is going to cheat. Yeah, and we know who. Statistically. And yeah, it's we, not gonna gonna be gonna, we know. It's we know. not going to be me. It's going to be the man. It's not going to be me, I Alex. am a simp. It's not going to be. It's not going to be any of the ladies. Not going to be a man. It's. It's going to be a man. Women. Man, wi- women cheat in ten to fifteen. Cheat. Women. Women cheat in ten to fifteen percent. Men cheat in twenty to twenty five. Exactly. Okay. So, so the stats say it's the you. Stats okay, say okay. it's you. Yes, but I'm a simp. Okay. I don't even know what that means. We should get going, okay. guys. Okay. Later.